welcome back to yet another topic in it project management series now basic concept of uh, leveling and resource assessment or assign that's today's topic in the last session we discussed about a schedule control where we discussed about what is schedule control need for schedule control what when to use a schedule control and how to use a schedule and various schedule controls this session we'll be discussing about leveling resources let's go basic concept of leveling resources assignments and the learning objectives are at the end of this session you will be able to identify resource leveling explain the benefits of uh, resource leveling explain the need of resource leveling various elements of uh, resource leveling identify the structure of uh, resource leveling and list the advantages various advantages of resource leveling and finally uh, we'll be uh, describing uh, various resource leveling techniques so let's start with what is resource leveling resource leveling is a technique in project management that overlooks resource allocation and resolves possible conflict arising over over allocation Resource leveling, by definition, is a resource optimization technique that answers when the project can be finished with the available resources without overbooking them or spreading them too thin. When a project manager undertake a project, they need to plan the resource accordingly, and resource leveling will generally aim to distribute work between resources fairly. it not only contributes to a healthy work environment but also makes the project schedule realistic and achievable now what are the objectives of resource leveling first the idea behind resource leveling is to avoid huge swing in the utilization of labor that is allocates resources efficiently so that the project can be completed in the given period or time period next is to maximize the time employees spend making effective contribution it's important that they have something to work on every day without causing burnout that means using the resources to the maximum then Divide, by dividing up the teams workload makes the company a linear which means less waste and more productivity wastage has to be minimized that is to stop over allocation of resources the resources has to be used optimally now let's see about various benefits of resource leveling resource leveling results in few problems for project planning and accounting department in particular benefits of the organization without having to face conflicts and not being able to deliver on time that's a biggest challenge for them next is on the key element of resource management in the organization which is a balanced workload often lead to higher throughput and reduced project cost and that is the key element to resource management in our now why do we need resource leveling in project management an organization starts to face problems if resources are not allocated properly that is some resource may be over allocated while other will be under allocated so here eliminates over allocation the first thing is it eliminates over allocation by balancing the demands of the project task with the resource capacity resource leveling removes the risk of over allocating resources the second important uh, entity is enhance the productivity and reduce the burnout by removing over allocation the risk of resources burnout is reduced productivity is also improved as resources can focus on the highest priority work without judging other things finally ensures quality of output 
when resources can focus on a single task the likelihood of the quality outcome will definitely increase all these things will bring out about a financial risk to the organization which will be minimized there is a need for resource allocation level now next is elements of resource leveling now the resource leveling can be broken down into main areas two main areas one is project that can be completed by using up all resources which are where it's available that is as the main aim of resource leveling is to allocate resource efficiently so that the project can be completed in the given time period means resource leveling can be broken down into two main areas one is project that can be completed by using up all the resources which are available and project that can be completed within the limited resources the second one is project can be completed with limited resources here projects which use limited resources can be extended for over a period of time until the resources required are available if then again the number of project that an organization undertakes exceeds the resources available then it's wiser to postpone the project for a later date now let's see about the structure of resource leveling many organization have a structured hierarchy of resource leveling a work based structure is as follows one is stage structure phase based or task or delivery based let's take for an example let's assume that a web designer is allocated for 8 hours each day to a project during the resource allocation process however in the original project plan you have have been assigned two different tasks he cannot physically complete in two days we, are, we all know that one person can't be in two places simultaneously resource leveling will reschedule those two tasks so they are carried out on a different days it will resolve the conflict immediately overall resource leveling aims to prevent such cases from happening and make sure that people don't have unrealistic workloads and tasks are not delegated to the same people over and over now let's see about the advantages of resource leveling resource leveling helps an organization to make use of available resources to the maximum that's a fundamental uh, need for resource leveling by resource conflicts there are numerous disadvantages it suffers by by the organizations such as delay in certain task being complete that's an obvious one. when when you have a resource leveling issues uh, you're not able to complete it within the time difficulty in assigning different resources because some resources would have held up some way not been released unable to change task dependencies and to remove certain task resource leveling the idea begin resource leveling is to reduce wastage of resources that is to stop over allocation of resources project managers will identify time that is unused by a resource and will take measures to prevent it or make king and advantage overall delays and budgets are overrun of the process and that's a reason we go for resource leveling uh here we are going to see interesting techniques what we use in the resource level apart from widely used critical path concept a uh, project managers use a um, couple of techniques one is called fast tracking other one is crashing if things get out of their hand now first thing is fast tracking fast tracking as uh, a performance critical path 
Fast tracking in project management is a technique where activities are performed in parallel instead of being carried out sequentially using the original schedule. Put it simply, fast tracking a project in project means different tasks as worked out simultaneously instead of waiting for each task to be completed separately. And the second one is crashing. It refers to assigning resources in addition to existing resources to get work that faster associated with the additional costs such as labor, equipment, etc. And budget crashing is when you shorten the duration of a project by reducing the time of one or more tasks. Crashing is done by increasing the resources to the project, which helps make tasks take less time than what they were planned earlier. Finally, summary. In this session, we have discussed uh, various aspects of resource leveling, such as uh, benefits. To summarize, the resource leveling is an aim to increasing efficiency when undertake projects by utilizing the resources available. And proper resource leveling will not result in heavy expenditure. And in this session, we have discussed about uh, leveling benefits, leveling needs, uh, leveling elements, resource leveling structure, and uh, its advantages, techniques. I hope. Uh, uh, you understand the basic need of resource leveling. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon in yet another interesting topic in IT project management. Bye-bye. For more stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.